Well, Cyber Monday is here. What are we expecting? In the next 24 hours, retailers are expecting to rake in $3 billion from online sales alone. The leader of the pack, of course, Amazon, doing something special this year. Jolyn Kent is live at an Amazon fulfillment center. She's in Robbinsville, New Jersey right now with the story. Joe. Hey, Maria, we are on the floor of this fulfillment center. It's really loud. 14 miles of conveyor belt carrying at least 500 orders per second. That's how much people are shopping on Amazon this year. And it's an incredible volume. And what we're seeing at Amazon is packages going from this fulfillment center to Utah, to Arizona, to Indiana. And this is all part of a broader spend by the American people. Uh, Adobe is estimating $4.5 billion spent between Thanksgiving and Black Friday. Today will be even more. 60% of that will be on mobile, Maria. And these packages you see are not just holiday items, but everyday items. Uh, some of the best sellers so far this year, the Amazon Fire Tablet and the Amazon Fire Stick TV. So we're seeing these packages move very quickly. Amazon expecting an even bigger Cyber Monday than last year. Joe, stay with us because we want to talk more about this. I was just saying, why is Amazon so good at this? And is there anybody who even comes close in terms of the precision and the effectiveness that Amazon has had? To, to Jeff Bezos' credit, he spent the money on this. He sp exactly. He invested in it. And that's what it comes down to. This company is not profitable. Look, it trades at 900 times current year earnings. 900 times? 900 times current year. It trades at a, a, a blistering 119 times next year. But earnings don't matter. You know, you can hear Bezos with the hysterical laughter. Earnings don't matter. Valuation doesn't matter. 32 times cash flow. It doesn't matter. They're eating everyone else's lunch. It's created destruction. They're moving forward. And it's marketing is Amazon's marketing is masterful. I mean, somebody just said on our set earlier, you want something you can order at 8 a.m. one and get it in the same day. I mean, it's a behemoth that all these other smaller retailers cannot compete with. And, and what about the larger? I mean, what about a Walmart? Walmart cannot compete. They struggle to compete look, with them. Isn't that interesting? Look yeah. where Joe's standing. Look at what oil machine that is. Uh, that, exactly. that can take on any army in the world versus Walmart. It's probably like Keystone Cops and the Swedish Chef, you know, throwing <laughs> things around. Does it feel as busy as, as you expected, Joe? I mean, from where you're standing and what you're seeing. Well, what we're seeing right now is it's actually a little bit less busy than it was last year, anecdotally. And that's because the shopping season is no longer just Cyber Monday or Black Friday. It's an entire week. It's been since Halloween. But Amazon is offering more deals than ever, trying to get people to buy because Walmart is doing the same thing, investing a billion dollars. And we should note, though, in a previous quarter, so they're trying to show investors that what they're doing with all of these fulfillment centers is worth the investment, and it seems to be. Yeah, that's a good point, and because they did squeak out a profit. I mean, I understand the larger issue that you're talking about, Michael. Sure. Revenue, generating I'm, revenue has been really paramount to earnings look, over, over the years. I'm talking stocks yeah. here, and you know, yeah. the stronger dollar, you'd think that retail would be doing better. I'm not so convinced that overall it's doing better, and that's, and that's problematic. Amazon here is Look, winning. but it's what we already have hard evidence of, and Joe's been reporting this as well. We flashed the number. Amazon is already reporting that their average cart price, meaning what you spend when you check out, is already up more than 20% year over year. I mean, wow. that's a substantial increase. So while there might be less boxes, maybe those boxes are filled with more that, expensive that's items. That's an outlier. You know, the, the ticket size, according to NRF, like the ticket sizes are not up everywhere. You know, really, Amazon's just a winner overall. This whole year, advanced retail sales numbers have been terrible, except for non you know, general non general mer non store merchandise. Guess what that is? It's there. Yeah, that's what we, that is. We also mm -hmm. can't forget. We, we also can't forget that there are some serious competitors in the game online. It's not just Walmart and Target moving in, but we saw. Google shopping up 40% expected this holiday season. So as much as Amazon does dominate, there is room for many different incumbent players here. Amazon just has the earlier edge for now. All right, Joe, thanks so much. We'll check back throughout the day on the Fox Business Network. Joe Lynn Kent at Amazon this morning.